What is up, YouTube? I'm back again. I just wanted to say a quick thanks, guys, for all the support on the tattoo tour video. That was long time coming, and I'm so glad you guys want to see, you know, a little bit more personal stuff with me. It's really cool. Um, thank you for all the likes, the comments, and the shares on that video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Give me some love in the comments. Give me a thumbs up on this video. It all matters. It's all super important. Um, just so I can keep making these videos and keep bringing you guys cool stuff. Now, I know I've made a video on Next Belt before. So I figured I just got a new one in and I would actually set it up in my kitchen of all places. Um, set up my belt while on this with you guys. So you can kind of see how easy it is and what are the steps we have to take to actually set it up in real time. Um, I know I have explained how, but now I want to show you how. So I'm going to give you guys a little peek at the leather EDC belt. So it comes like this. You might be thinking that is a little bit strange looking. Um, but like I've shown in the past video, measurements are on the inside. The ratchet part is on the other side. And what you're going to have to do before you actually cut this belt, because you do cut it yourself, um, is measure your waist. Put it on, get a feel for what measurement you are, and you're going to add two inches to that. If you need to retrim it, it's always best to go longer than shorter and be screwed on that. So I've already pre-measured my waist um, for EDC. You want to add two inches, like I said. So I have my trusty kitchen shears. Guys, don't worry. I am a certified hairdresser, so we can trust me with scissors. Um, and I am going to go ahead and cut this belt like I would, um, two inches added to what my waist is. Um, so here we go. We're going to cut the belt and then I'll show you guys how I cut it. You're going to want a really sharp pair of kitchen shears to cut this bad boy. And these ones are kind of, oh no, they're not failing me. Just going to take a little tagline, but I got it. Okay. So we officially cut the belt. It looks kind of weird at first, but it's not going to look weird. We're going to totally cover up the cut mark. But uh, as you can see, cut it, and it's not looking too shabby for kitchen shears. I'm going to put this belt down and show you the clasp. So these are stainless steel clasps. Have these little teeth on the inside that you press down to secure it to the belt. And it also comes with little screws so that you can also attach it to the belt, give it a little bit more security. Um, but it really is super easy. So now that I've cut the belt, as you can see, I'm going to slide the belt in the back of this buckle. It fits nice and snug, super easy, like I said. And you're just going to push those teeth down. Now, it does take a little bit of uh, man power, woman power, everyone power to get that to shut. Um, shut's pretty easy. Just got to give it a little bit. Um, it does come with these screws, so I do use the screws. I want that extra security when I'm, you know, something as far as an EDC belt, I want all the security I can get. So I'm going to place the screws. It comes with the little wrench for the screws to tighten them in, get it all nice and snug so that you're not running into the issue where your belt buckle's falling off. That is the least thing that we want to happen. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, give these a screw in. And then I'll show you guys how easy it is once it's attached. But I figured I would do this just because I feel like, you know, I can tell you about a belt all I want. Um, so one screw is already in. But if I don't show you guys some stuff, I feel like I'm just talking and not showing. And I feel like it's important to be able to show you it in action with anything, whether that's a holster, a belt, a gun shooting a new gun for the first time. I feel like all of those are, and here we go, dropping stuff. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> um, these, these little wrench things are really, really small. So it doesn't take much and you're just gonna drop it. All right, guys, I got the screws in already, nice and secure. So we got it on, you never know I cut this thing. There's no trace of it, I covered that up. Belt goes in here, you're gonna hear the click, click, clicks. Oh, that sound, ooh, ooh. So tighten as needed, this is it. That is it, putting together your next belt. It's that easy. There's a little lever on the side here, as you can see. This loosens it so that you can just easily pull it off, um, and you're good to go. There's really, it's really that simple. So when you get one of these bad boys in, all you need to do, open the package, cut the belt two inches longer than you would need, attach 
the buckle here, and you're rocking. No other, there's no other things you need to do to complete this. Um, I use these for EDC. I use these belts at the range. I actually have one on right now, which I'll stand up and show you in black. So these are super versatile. We love them. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to drop a comment. I will link them, their website, in the description of this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And like I said, if you have any questions at all on the next belt setup, don't hesitate to ask me. You guys have an awesome day and thank you for all the love. It means a lot.